Hey everybody, it's Blue Toad, and welcome back to Zelda 2. Now, I think I can actually do a little bit of a trick here. A little bit of a cheats, if you will. Nope, okay, it didn't respawn. I was really hoping that I could make it respawn if I went into another area. Uh, but we're gonna have to go very slowly through these areas of swamp to try and survive. Luckily, if I just fight regular enemies, they're actually not that bad. If you know how to fight them. But there's a little bit of a ways to a town. Sadly for us. This is fine. I might actually try. That's an area. Okay. That's not good. That's not good. This is not good. This is not good. Magic. Uh, maybe shield. Just so we don't lose as much health if I get hit by anything. In which I'm gonna get hit by everything. It's fine. Let's do magic life up. Which will actually restore our life to full. Which is also another important thing to think about when leveling up. Okay, let's get out of here. And actually go down across this bridge. Which is another area. Also, these things are the absolute worst. I can never figure out how to fight them properly. They throw fireballs at you when they get to a certain level, which is usually your, at your level. But then they also crawl along the bridge to get to you, and they're really painful enemies. Which means they're very well designed. But anyway, town. Town of what? What a town. Of Saria. Eyes of Ganon are everywhere. Uh, I think he says be careful. What he's basically saying is don't talk to everyone on the street because some of them will actually be enemies in disguise. Hello. It's not that bad though. But basically you only want to talk to important people. If you can find out where they are. I'm going to come back to this. I could just do that right away, because I know what that is. In M Modoro, Swamp, find a handy glove. Okay, let's get our free heal, of magic. We can also skip the text by just pressing B. There's also a bot here, but it's just sleeping. Wake up. Wake up. Wake up. Wake up. Let me be! Master is in the woods, north of river. If we keep pestering him, he'll actually give us some good information. That's actually stuff we're gonna have to follow. Let's get our free heal. And here's the bridge gate ha house thing. Only town folk may cross this river. And we don't classify, apparently. Also, did I miss a building? I must have, because I didn't find the thing I was looking for. Or maybe I missed a person that I was supposed to talk to. Because is that there? Or maybe it's later. It might be later. Or is it you? I lost my mirror. It's you, okay. So, I don't know how you're supposed to figure this out, but there's also just an empty house here, so I guess that's how you figure it out. If we duck and check this table, I thought, probably don't worry about it, but if we just check the table, you find a magic mirror, or a mirror under the table, not a magic mirror. I'm so used to just saying magic mirror in Zelda games, apparently, so. There's the mirror. Let's go get a reward for it. Hopefully. You will reward me, right? Oh, you found my mirror. Follow me. Oh, if you say so. <laughs> it's fine, don't worry about it. Just ignore me. Let's get a reward. From another wise man. Use this magic to restore your life. The most important spell. Life. It's very costly, but will restore life. It's not a full heal, it's just a partial heal. But it's still a really good partial heal, so... 
it's gonna be especially good early on in the game when we have when it's basically a full heal anyway, so. That'll be extremely important, especially if we can grind off enemies to get magic jars. Also, I went directly into this, this is fine. Just dodge, no, 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 I'm so bad. Here's a good example of life. Very costly, but we also got a most, most of a heal. Also, this guy is a lot easier than the other one. I should really not be struggling with this one. The red ones are the much harder enemies. There we go. <laughs> I'm struggling on the easy things, that's a good sign. I'm gonna go into this little patch of forest. And try not to get hit by things that I should not be getting hit by. We also got some hints about the bot's master living above the woods. The north of the woods, specifically. Also, uh, the magic, the blue magic jars are only worth one magic meter thing. One bit of bar. Also, I don't know if we actually need to cross this bridge, but I'm gonna cross it anyway. I hope that actually leads to something else. With less enemies, hopefully. I don't think it will, but it's fine. Dodge the last bubbles at the end of the screen because there's always something there to catch us. Little patch of woods here, which is a fairy. Okay. I actually forgot that was there in my last playthrough. I probably could have healed a lot more often if I had remembered that. Ah, uh, but anyway, I believe somewhere along here, not this. Also, you're a bunch of rude. A whole bunch of rude. I'll take the magic jar. It's so good being in a heal now. It's gonna make grinding a lot easier as well. Somewhere along here, I believe, is an area. It's not the area we want, but it's the area we need. I mean, there's probably better ways of finding this, especially if you know where you're going. Uh, but let's go north of here, I think. No, there's just a whole bunch of areas in here, okay. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> I mean, I do, but I don't. I want to take that and maybe use life. That's so good to have. There we go. I, I thought you had just had to go up from wherever the other area was, but no, there's just in here. A little house by itself in the woods. Bagu is my name. Show my note to Riverman. My favorite superhero. I'm going with that. Also, oh, hello. More of this. I really want more level ups right now. If I can get my magic level up, we'll be able to heal a lot more often. Probably because we can. It won't cost as much. I have to cross the bridge again. I probably should have crossed the other bridge because I would actually prefer the beetles and the bubbles rather than the fish and the fire. Also, I love how much alliteration was with both of those. I wasn't even trying it, it just kind of worked. Like I was trying a little bit, but not enough to make it actually work, and it somehow still worked. I think I already talked to you, right? Are you important? I am much too busy to talk to a stranger. Wow, how rude. Anyway, we already did that. Let's get our magic back, which also just gives us a full uh, magic thing as well. But while it's filling up, we can also use life multiple times to actually just get it to refill both things, basically. It still gives us both um, healing and magic restore in towns in future, but it's just easier to use life spell to just heal all at once. You know Bagu? Then I can help you cross. And now we can get to the other side of town. Which is also a house in here and that we could show the guy to get across again. Because whenever we reset this area, it closes the bridge off again. Also, this is just the end. I thought there was more across here, but that's just the end. I also don't think I want to go 
into this cave system yet. We actually want to go to the next palace first. But now we, now we know we can do that, so... It's a good starting point, probably. I can't skip this, apparently. Maybe it's not- maybe not the first time, anyway, with this specific guy on the, si the side of the river. I love the way that it spawns in the bridge, though. That's really cool. We really need to level up again. <laughs> I should be much, most, much stronger th than this by now. Particularly in the attack department. It's probably not that bad. I'm, like, I'm probably pretty good at the moment. But I'd like to be stronger right now. Also, I know I don't need to jump, but I just do it all the time anyway. Okay, let's head back across the river and go to the next location. Don't need it. I've already got full, but not anymore, but it's fine anyway. These guys are so rude. So rude. Let's follow this way. Man, ever since I changed, like, switched from using control, like, D-pad to control stick, everything has been so much better. Now the roadblock's stopping us from going that way. And if we go up this way, it may look familiar to us, because there's the other end of the... Uh, bl the blockage that we saw earlier. <laughs> blockage was the only word I could think of, I'm sorry. I couldn't think of... Roadblock, for some reason. <laughs> it's basically the same thing, anyway. Um, might just shield so we don't lose as much life in here. We'll probably get some more magic back from these enemies anyway. Yeah, there we go. Let's make our way through this cave. I think I'm getting better at this game very slowly. I'm gonna lose all the skill when I stop playing this game for a long time and then play it again. <laughs> I put off playing this game for, for way too long in my life. Because I, I thought it was just weird and hard, but it's really good. Um, I got 200 from that, so it might be worth saving, but also maybe not. Let me go for magic up. I'll just accept it. We also get the rest of those points anyway, which will make it a lot easier to get to the next life up, level up. I also probably want to get to the next attack level up as well. That's everything in this cave though, so let's leave. I was just coming for the extra bag of points. Always good. Also, life magic jar. I didn't know this magic jar was here. Might as well use it. I did not realize that that was there. Apparently, I, I only ever stepped in the left side of that block. Also, like the sound that Link makes when walking through the swamp. <laughs> That's so good. Uh, we'll save the magic for the moment until we need it. Need a real life up. Restore. Go, 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 go. Yeah, these swamp enemies are not that bad. The moving one you have to be ready for, but it's if you know it's coming, you can deal with it. Nope, that's not good. The swamp with harder enemies means we get these bird things attacking us. Which is a lot more annoying. Because we have to coordinate with everything else that we're trying to already coordinate with. There we go. Okay. I was hoping to check my spells, but that's not how that works. Also, we did the same thing again. This is not good. Might be actually worth using that life up now. But maybe once we actually get into the, the palace. Do that. There we go. There's also a free red jar here, which is a, I'm pretty sure is a mostly full magic restore. It's basically worth a full magic restore, but it only fills as much as a full magic jar, magic bar would be anyway. Or most of it. So it's really good, but not, not a full perfect heal thing. I'm pretty sure I don't need to be here just yet. I don't remember mo most of this. I remember some things, but not enough. Yeah, there's a lot of dead ends in this. 
We still want to find all the keys and stuff, though. Ow. Man, I'm sad I don't have some of the upgrades that I want right now. There are some really good things we could get. Also, how quickly can we kill this now? It's still going to be slow at level 3. But it's a little bit faster now, so it might be worth getting the 50 points from it by stun locking it. Especially because we lost 400 points that other time. It might be worth trying to do some catch up. Also, I think this next level up is for life. I'm pretty sure. We could skip it and go for attack, but I don't really know what I want right now. Also, this is a blue one. They can jump. And they're really annoying. Especially in different scenarios. Um... I really want to go for attack. Maybe I'll go for life for now and I'll see how we go once we get to the magic level up. And how close we are to the end of the dungeon. End of the palace. Grab that key. Maybe we will go back up and check what's up there. Also, I don't think I had life spell last time I was here, in this palace, so I'm so glad that I got that now. When I did, because it's going to make life so much easier. Also, this respawned. I do kind of want to get it, if I can get it in the right position. I'm grinding. To get to the 700 or more, I'm going to need to grind. To get to 1000, I'm definitely going to need to grind. What I could have done is actually save up to a thousand and then save up to over 700 and get the palace level up. That would have been really good. The speedrun for this game is actually quite impressive because I beat it in like an hour and 20 minutes or something like that. I think? Something like that? An hour and a half? And they, they, they know exactly what route to take to get levels up at the end of dungeons. Also, you're really annoying. Oh boy. Especially because you respawn at the other end of the screen when you reach the end. But we can get you. So I'm gonna stop you right in your tracks. Or maybe I'll just jump over them. Man, this is so much harder without certain things. There goes our key. Although I think we still have... Nope. <laughs> Never mind. Yeah, some of these enemies are really rude. At this point. I really want magic right now. I believe this drop drip thing... I don't know what it's called. Is kind of intended for you to grind stuff back. Like magic. But it's so slow that I don't actually know if it's worth it. I mean, I could try. I'm too impatient. Oh boy. I'm surprised I survived that. Let's grab that key. Gonna wait for that to jump to the lava. Ow. Oh, thank you for the magic jar. We need 60 for the magic crystal. We also are out of lives right now, so if we die, we have to go all the way back to the castle. I'm really not in a great position, but it's alright. Nice. Ooh, very nice. Pretty good. Ow. I should really have used my spell to shield before going through those two enemies. That also has a jar on it. I probably should have actually saved that, but that's okay. We'll fool heal, so I might just grind this since I can. It's a pretty good hallway for it, probably. I didn't mean to jump. I was just slid my, my, my thumb slipped because I was not paying attention. That's how that works. Man, I really want the attack upgrade. We get pretty powerful once we have all of our attack unlocked. 
do have to go against some really annoying enemies though. The enemies get really annoying rather than difficult. Although, it's, it's both obviously. But it's only annoying if you don't know how to deal with them. Which I don't, so I'm really bad. Thank you for the 50 points. I really hope I'm going the right way right now. I might not be. I think that's the right way. But I want to check other places first. We haven't got the dungeon item yet. Man, this is a bad combination of enemies. Do we have a key? Yes, we do. We're going to have to find another one now, though. Because I'm pretty sure we need one in the down below area. Interesting room. Gonna want to get past all this without getting hit too much by blocks falling from the sky. Of we can't get that now, unfortunately for us. That pea bag. Unless we reload the room, possibly. Also, I definitely want to use shield, don't I? Oh yes. Oh yes. I mean, this guy's not that bad, actually. He's quite intimidating when you first find him, the red knights. But yeah, once you get used to them, they're not that bad. Also, I don't have a key. I don't have a key. I can't get in the door. But that's where the dungeon item is. That's a shame, because that would be really good for us right now. How? Why did you turn around? Link, why? I really want that sound clip to be taken out of context and just used on the internet. Just talk about internet stuff, Link Y. Okay, let's do that. I think that's worthwhile. I don't actually know that was there, but I could guess, so. Uh, let me try and get that. And not die. We're almost at 700, so that, uh, that'll be good. We do need to find another key, though, now. Also, I can't remember what causes enemies to respawn. I think it's if you get too far away from them. Like, if you go through too many rooms, they'll respawn. Ow. Oh, magic jar. I'll take that. Nothing else here. That's what I thought. I think we actually must have missed something up above. Also, this guy is annoying because he also dropped fire. And also, I can't stun, stun him, apparently. Uh, let me try up. I really don't want to have to go back, but also I might have to. Also, we might better get a free level up here. Actually, that's a good point. How do I... Do I not have enough magic? Okay. I thought I did. But apparently not. We haven't got that level up yet. I was hoping to be able to heal and then upgrade my magic, which would fill it up again. But it was not to be. Go, magic up. Now we can heal, but we won't get as much of the heal that we wanted. It's not a great position. It's okay. I'm really just going to take my time on this. I can't rush through this game. It'd be cool to rush through this game. But I'd have to be so much better than I am. And the only way to get good at this game is to play it a lot more. There we go. Did this by any chance respawn? Nope. Okay. I said missed. No, it didn't respawn. Okay. Gotta be careful with using stuff. Using stuff. Oh my goodness. How am I supposed to... Just be patient. Ow, what a shot. There's a lot of rude things in this game. Designed to always hit you. I like that the blue drops are just going into the lava. Directly. This can spawn so many enemies. Ooh, pea bag. That's a very lucky from a blue bot. From a spawner. Incredible. Very incredible. Most incredible, sir. 
Also, none of the really bad enemies seem to have respawned, so that's good. Ow. Just gonna tank the hit. Ow. Just gonna tank the hit and leave. Also, I forgot that if I die, I'm gonna game over. That's really not good for me. That's the exit. Okay. So maybe down this way is what I missed? Or maybe down this way is where I'm supposed to go and I was supposed to go down the other place. Which I didn't do. That'd be a shame. Ah, oh, this looks... I don't know, I don't remember the dungeons. Magic jar. Also that's spinning stuff at me. How rude. I might die. Honestly. I might just die. Also, our shield is 16 now, that's so good. Nice. We can take that enemy out much faster now. That's what we want. Ow. Just take the hit, I guess. That's not the ideal way to play, but I'm doing it. <gasps> magic jar. Red magic jar. So good. Okay. There's a key that we missed. I probably should have done first thing in the dungeon. It's fine. Okay, we're good, we're good, we're good. As long as we live back down to where we were before, we're good. Also, these enemies are going to be super annoying. Because of the way they move around ledges. Because they slide so far off of them and jump onto the edge of them when going up. Fine, please. No, 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 no. We can block those, but we also are very unlikely to. Also, there are sometimes secret walls, but I think they're mostly later on in the game. After one of the dungeons specifically uses a secret wall. Did we go that way? I'm pretty sure we did that already. Some of these palaces are mazes. <laughs> like, actually, this, this is kind of maze-like. And this is, I think, the second palace that we've gone to. Okay, it's this room again. Just go for it. Just go for it. Just go for it. Just go for it. No, 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 no. How? Don't jump. <laughs> Don't jump. Link jump, but not those jump. Do I have enough for a heal? Nope. Can I have enough for a heal? It'd be nice. Also, all of those droplets hurt. Just just in case I didn't point that out. <gasps> Thank you. Can I have some more magic? Those always seem to get me. Because I think they're not going to be close enough and then they jump at me. I'm waiting for this one. Because I'm not going to go into it. It's going to go into me. <laughs> and it's not going to go well. Thank you for jumping into the pit. I appreciate that. Okay. We're doing alright now. I'm surprised I'm still alive. That's probably a good sign. That I might be getting better at the game. Maybe. I so love the, like... Running sound effect, almost. In the song. It's like... I, I, that's the only way I can just describe it. It just sounds good, basically. Also, maybe... Maybe worthwhile. Our next upgrade is, is at 800, so... It might actually just be better to skip this and go back. Like, it, just have it go up to 800, skip that, and get the attack upgrade. Quite possibly. Anyone who's played this game and knows the leveling system better than me and and will actually not die in between getting stuff. Yep, you're probably groaning right now. I'm sorry. I've only played this once. And I was not good at it, so. I'm doing alright now though, so I'm gonna hope. I'm gonna hope. I'm gonna die. 
<laughs> I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. It's, uh, all hope is lost. It went from 0 to 100 very quickly. 100 to 0, I don't know. All I know is suffering. Zelda 2. It's fine. There we go. Dungeon item. The glove. We can't use that now, though. I don't think. Oh, I know we can. We just need to get to the right place to use it. Before we can show what it does, basically. Which here seems like a good spot for it. Just gonna let these build up. Because now we can break these blocks. And we've actually seen a lot of these blocks in previous dungeons. Come on, get the Tetris. Get the Tetris. Get the Tet- get the- get- oh, I'm blocked in. <laughs> it's fine. But yeah, this is gonna make things interesting. Because they can do a lot more with breakable blocks in the game. Good things and bad things, basically. But it'll be good for us because we can actually make more space for us if we need it. And we can also destroy platforms. So, uh, it's fine. Man, it'd be really nice to have a heal. It'd be really nice to have a heal. Also, hello. Nice. I don't think that has anything for us. I don't know. Still alive. Gotta dodge all this fire. <laughs> Which is easier said than done. Especially if you're going into it directly. Like me. Um. I don't know how to get through this without getting hit. A lot. <laughs> like that, apparently. Ow, no! No! Panic, panic, panic. No! Oh! I'm definitely gonna die. I should really just ignore. I should really just ignore. Ha ah. Gonna lose all these f points again. No! Ah, oh, that's such a shame. Anyway, I think that's probably it for now. So thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all next time once I get back to the dungeon.